Good morning. I'm Dee Davis. I'm Alice Maxwell's mother. And I can go on and on, grandchildren and great-grandchildren, which I adore. Um, <clears throat> but at, at her work, I'm known as Mama D, and that seems to work right well. So why don't, why don't we use that? Um, I was born and, and raised down in Bartow, Florida, a little tiny, tiny place, and um, married a dentist from Tuscaloosa, had four children, and that was just the start of it. And um, I've had a blessed life, and you'll hear of it as we go along. I'm going to give y'all a few things to think about, <clears throat> and it'll, they'll be very varied. Some you'll like and others you'll love. So let's get started. The first thing I want to read to you is a prayer for the middle-aged. I got this at my Sunday school class about 40 years ago, and I have, have kept it where I could read it often because I need to read it often, and maybe you'll like it. Lord, thou knowest better than I know myself that I am growing older and will someday be old. Keep me from the fatal habit of thinking that I must say something on every subject and on every occasion. Release me from craving to try to straighten out everybody's affairs. Make me thoughtful but not moody, hopeful but not bossy. With my vast store of knowledge, it seems a pity not to use it all. But thou knowest, Lord, I want a few friends at the end. Keep my mind from the recital of endless details. Give me wings to get to the point. Seal my lips on my aches and pains. They are interesting, and, I, and love of rehearsing them becomes sweeter as the days go by. I dare not ask for grace enough to enjoy the tales of others, others' pains, but help me to endure them with patience. I dare not ask for improved memory, but for a growing humility and a lessening cocksureness when my memory seems to clash with the memories of others. Teach me the glorious lesson that occasionally I may be mistaken. Keep me reasonably sweet, I do not ask to be a saint. Some of them are so hard to live with. But a sour old woman is a crowning work of the devil. Give me the ability to see good things in unexpected places and talents in unexpected people. And give me the grace to tell them so. 